Hello, 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 hi, hi, hi. hello, power of Christ compels your nipples. N nubbin. What is it? Nubbin? Nubbin. nubbin. Yeah. What? Goodbye, nubbin. What? The nubbin. Behold, the nubbin. What is that? It's it's Chandler Bing's third nipple. Oh. Hey, welcome back to our stupid directory. It's of course. I'm Chandler Bing. And you can follow us on Instagram, Twitter for more juicy content. And on and Patreon, Patreon, am I right, people? Down, 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 like yeah. Matthew Perry's not doing too... Uh, oh, bless his heart. He's doing much better now. No, I'm saying he made a stupid comment. I, you'd make that comment. You would in a, any day of the week you would make that comment. No, I would. I would comment on. You would absolutely say no. Why I, is Heath Ledger here and Keanu Reeves is is no. why is Keith Ledger gone and Keanu one, Reeves to walk around? Those two things are irrelevant. You to each other. You detest Keanu Reeves. No, I think he's a, one of the best people in Hollywood. Actually, I do. I know people. as a person. Yeah, that's why I wouldn't want to wish he was dead. <laughs> he apologized. He was wishing he was dead. He, <laughs> he, and he did it twice. Yeah. Like, but he did apologize. Uh, <laughs> How do you do that with a guy that's nice as Keanu Reeves? He's like the nicest that, guy in Hollywood. It's probably the worst person you could pick up. In his, in his book. It's literally the worst Matthew, person you could pick up. Matthew five Perry with. talked about working with people like um, uh, Chris Farley and River Phoenix and Heath Ledger. And how unfair it is in the world that they would be taken away and be gone. And he said, basically, why are they gone? And Keanu Reeves is walking around. It's like the worst person you can pick a fight with because everybody loves Keanu Reeves as a person. He's such a nice guy. Uh, anyway, today we're doing a movie review. <laughs> <laughs> and it's of the 2008 film, 1920. Don't get those two confused. It's not right. a 1920, it's not the 1920 film, film about 2008. 2008. Although there is, it's, it's that film is very good. It stars it's Boris Karloff, reverse. Vincent Price, and Corbin's mom. Oh, wow, jeez. And it's a threesome. Oh, wow, jeez. Uh, directed by Vikram Bhatt. Also written by Vikram, uh, the story of uh, Vikram Bhatt as well. And uh, I looked at it and I was like, why do I know that name? Uh, the song we reacted to the other day, Roz. My nipple the... is still hot from your whack. Oh, really? Yeah, it feels good. Um, the song from Roz that we reacted to the other day, it was, it was supposed yeah. to be a spooky film. Yeah. Uh, even though the, the song wasn't spooky, I think he directed that one as well. And that's, ah, that's why I was like, I looked at it, I was like, yes. Vikram Vaught, and I still, ah, yes. I still don't know if he's related to the Bot family. <laughs> he absolutely is. His last name is Bot. No, the Bali Bot. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you just meant like he just took the name uh -huh. and said, I want to uh, have this last name, even though it's not my own. Uh, and it's show up to Thanksgiving dinners starring these two right here. Say their name for me. Uh, yes. Rajneesh Dugal and, and Adi Sharma. And those are the main two leads. Yeah. Uh, and then obviously a little extra supporting cast. But obviously it came out in 2008. Uh, so it'd be 100% support if you haven't watched it. Go watch it. Yeah. And, uh, and it, it just goes without saying there's a cameo by the devil. Oh wow! Yeah, geez. yeah. The devil shows up. Uh, so. Spoilers. Uh, <laughs> Rude. Not his best performance, but. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, uh, but yeah, and also uh, we're watching this because I wanted to get to some spooky movies, just like Bahut, um, or Boot, Boot, no, Boot. What did I say? Yeah, bahut? you said Bahut, but that's good because that's what I would do too. Because there's so many of those H and guttural and nasal things that boot. we don't do. Boot. And I try, and my Indian wife looks at me like, oh, you poor little white boy. I wish you guys had a word for white boot. people. Like, boot. Mexicans have... They do. It's called dumb. No, Mexicans call them gringos. Yeah, gringos. Uh, and other stuff. Crackers. <laughs> a lot of other more vulgar things. Anyways, but... Uh, Honkies. Colonizers. Colonizers. That works. That's probably That's it. fitting. Anyways, Rick, your initial thoughts, please. Um, ultimately, ultimately, I like it. And I like it for the same reason I like the Chicago Cubs. That's a weird, weird comparison. That I'll, is really strange. I'll, I'll explain why. I, you, how do you not like the Chicago Cubs? If you're not familiar with Major League Baseball here, they are like, everybody wants them to win. They, they did win. Yeah. They, they finally, finally. Yeah. But like, they're always the struggling team, but they're always doing their best. And that, that for me is there's so many things in this that have flaws. Mm. But they're trumped by the ambitiousness of this, the the very clear, passionate attempt to do something that I can talk about all the superlatives about for for all of its flaws because it has quite a few flaws. Ultimately, I liked it, and and I, I told Indrani that I would recommend this 
if somebody's a cinephile and they want to know the evolution of certain genres and certain countries' films, mm -hmm. I think this is an important film for people to see to understand horror and it, it, what it is in Indian cinema. Yeah. And I think it was a pretty like boot, boot a pretty brave attempt at something that felt really really genuine yeah i i overall liked it i do agree there was quite a bit of flaws in, yeah, and there's in, a lot of flaws but in, a, in a lot of aspects of the film yeah like acting uh, writing some yeah, some yes, story issues. obviously vfx there's some issues all over but overall i think there was a lot more good than bad agreed and you can also since it's not because they're like uh, one of the big issues is that a lot of the performances aren't incredibly great. They're they're like I think she did a really good job. Especially, um, it's their debut performances, yeah. which was which was saying a lot that the director and producers would trust. Yeah. this with brand new people. But it, like even the supporting cast and some of the writing was a, a little clunky, I'd say. Um, but that luckily that's not really the 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 star of this is like the, you're not driven by the performances outside of her probably yeah um, and and what she does not more in the second half it's more about the creepiness and this film I think I would put it in now my top five recommendations for Halloween films mm -hmm. because it's probably one of the more creepy ones <laughs> it is one of the it, that and, and bo boot and this one probably even more so because it's obviously a couple years later and it's just an overall creepy vibe of wants the entire, to be entire uh time yep i would just tell people like okay you go in it's kind of an exorcism kind of feely film mm -hmm. but there are flaws but just try to just go in with Look, low expectations and i think you'll enjoy it that's how you feel going into a chicago cubs game <laughs> you go you go in hoping for the best you watch it doesn't always turn out but you still love the fact that this is this is there's genuineness there's great desire to do well so, and all of that for me when a, when a film is really going out of its way then you can see it's going out of its way to be the best it can be in spite of its flaws mm -hmm. uh, that's ultimately why I I like yeah, it yeah and um you can maybe tell me this. Was there exorcism in films before The Exorcist? I know there was like spirits and, and, and kind of almost possession, like people were possessed was by certain things. Right. But exorcism, because obviously after exorcism, I feel like most things that have exorcism in have been inspired by The Exorcist. It, I had just yeah. watched The Exorcist about a week and a half ago, so it's very fresh in my mind. Yeah. Um, but were there a lot of exorcism no. films before Exorcist? There were not a lot, no. Okay. And there was nothing that came even remotely close because you could see inspirations being, in both and in this uh, from The Exorcist. I think pretty much every film that depicts demonic possession mm -hmm. since The Exorcist in some way, shape, or form is borrowing. It is to the genre what Michael Jackson is to pop music. Mm, yeah. Inescapable. Yeah. You, just, you see it everywhere. Yeah. It was that. And it wasn't a copy at all, but like no. you could definitely tell. Obviously, it's just hard to get away from certain elements of The Exorcist being so iconic, uh, and in just like in Butt as well. Uh, it's but also they both of that and this do it a little differently. It's mm -hmm. not specifically the devil. Mm -hmm. It's I mean I guess it could be right, but like it's more somebody else possessing somebody else. Well, this was far more. Uh, it was one of the problems I would have with the yeah. story is that it didn't make a decision about that. Yeah. But did. It was the dead woman yeah, yeah. in her. Yeah. A hundred percent all of the time. We just didn't know that until the payoff. Yeah, I guess it could have been either that guy or the devil was possessing that guy and then decided to stick around. Yeah, and at times it could have been the girl, the woman that had been there that had oh, yeah. with the guy and it kind of went back and forth and that was one of the things i wish yeah. there had been a clear linear it's one of the things that is the greatness among many many things and i say greatness with big asterisk because i hate the exorcist for a, a lot of reasons that are not cinematic uh some of them are but one of the brilliant things about I the exorcist, the exorcist is, great. is is the fact that it, it is extremely simple yeah oh yeah it's a very simple movie the story is very, I mean, if you read the log line describing it, it's exactly what you're going to get for the whole thing. Yeah. And even Blatty, who wrote the book and then wrote the screenplay, recognized the difference between the two art forms yeah. and said, I'm cutting to the chase. I'm getting rid of all of this stuff and I'm keeping it very streamlined. Whereas this, this got a little, got a little bit out of whack. It got a little Bollywood. Little out of whack. Well, another, like, 
a lot of people comment whenever I say I loved songs and movies and my evolution on the channel. This is one of the films I did not want the songs in it. Yeah, I, although I, I think it took me out of the the film. There's only one song that I wanted in it, and what? it doesn't fit. But I just loved. I loved the main item number with yeah. the. I don't know who that actress dancer yeah, is. Do you know who it was? But she was the Helen of yeah, the moment yeah, yeah, with yeah. the scorpion tattoo it on was her a cool stomach. Song. It was a cool song, and it was a sexy moment. And as I'm watching it, I'm like, "Would you put this in The Exorcist?" No, but <laughs> Indian cinema will. Indian cinema will. Yeah. So I think there were probably like two to three songs in this whole thing, and they were all good songs. I'm not saying they weren't good songs. Just like when in um, uh, what was it? Satya, and it was Vishal Bardwash's song, which was a great song, a fun song, right? I didn't think that fit in that film. Yeah, I, I agree. I, 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 I think it took me... I was like, okay, we're in a, a creepy vibe and we're right. cool. And then you go into an item number and I'm like, man, you just kind of took I me know. out of it a little bit. I agree. I like the item number. And they're good. They're good but, songs. And they're good. But the movie would be better if you kept us in that space. Some films, even though I know it's India, doesn't need songs. <laughs> it's true. So a lot of films do. And I love. Uh, I'm, I, I, I've grown to enjoy... A lot of songs in, in films because yes. I think it's a nice break a lot of times and if it fits. But this is one of the ones that was like, mm, I don't know if I, uh, no, I, agree. I, I wanted that in there. You know? I agree. And I, I can get into the, it, do home, huh, how much do you know, for example, of, and there are, there are some things, they're not the only film that does it, that, that do copy, not the storyline, but certain, um, traits of someone who's possessed there's exorcist copies but like mm -hmm. i said it's like if you watch music videos today you're gonna see michael's moves in people's bodies mm -hmm. so it's kind of like anytime cinema depicts demonic possession mm -hmm. you're gonna get the eyes that look like that yeah, yeah, yeah you're gonna get the voice that sounds like that yeah, you're yeah. gonna get floating above the bed or a yeah. mattress shaking mm -hmm. items moving because moving. yeah for sure it's it's from that and that's also not just because of The Exorcist, but The Exorcist, if you didn't know, is loosely based on true events that happened in 1949 here in America with a, mm. a boy named uh, Roland Doe is the name that he goes by. It's not his original German name. But if you look that up, and if you look up all of the things that happened in the making of The Exorcist, you'll know why I... And if you know anything about me and my past in the occult, you'll know why I don't like The Exorcist. Although there's no doubting. It's an incredibly well-made film at every level, deserving of its nominations and deserving of its place in American cinema history as one of the greatest, if not the greatest, horror film of all time. Mm. I just hate the film. Yeah. yeah. Um, so, performance-wise, I thought she did a really I good job. She did a, for a for a she, debut performance, I thought she did a great job. Just like, or what was her name? Sorry, in both. Uh, I always forget how to say Rekha. her name. No, I know. I know. I just wanted to say it was Rekha. Or Mila. Yeah. Or, or Mila. Yeah. Yeah. I thought she did a great job, and it, you could tell this one had a, just a tad bit more money. Not a ton. I don't think it just had a ton of money, but it had a little bit more money, and so she, hers was, I think, creepy as well. Just uh, you, They gave her more digital eyes, obviously, yeah. than uh, they did kind of just overall makeup in Boot, because yeah. I think they had a shoestring budget on Boot, probably. It also <laughs> get, it, it lended more to my likability of the film with the simplicity yeah. of just leaning more heavily on the actress. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but I thought she did a really good job. I thought I a did lot too. of stuff they did with her was really creepy and really fun and yep. like her just laughing going down I was like oh this is fun how, how about, I, I loved the, eating the cat on the yeah, stairs that was, great. that was great and then her getting caught and going <laughs> and running off yeah. it's like that's fantastic that was great I like that a lot uh, so yeah she was probably the strongest performance in the whole film agreed uh, he was fine uh, to, sometimes not great. Yeah. Uh, and so I, I don't want to harp on him too bad, but Me too. he wasn't just the, he, it wasn't the strongest, but didn't ruin anything. No, you know what? It, again, yeah. it's like watching somebody that you know is a rookie yeah. and is in the big leagues. You're not expecting them to be King Coley, you know? Yeah. You're expecting them and rooting for them to, to have a good game. Yeah. And I felt like for a rookie. Yeah, yeah. He, I think he'd go back and probably look at this now and he, he might go, oh, because yeah. he would see like a player looking back and going, wow, I don't know why I was in that position during that play and yeah. all of that. So, yeah, there's nothing thought, to pick on. Yeah, I think he was uh, she was definitely the strongest in the overall film. Uh, the priest was very similar as well. I thought I recognized the priest. I did, uh, too, uh, like, when he showed up. He almost looked like because I think it was Raj, Raj, right? Yeah. Rod Suchi, and okay. I'm like, where oh, where yeah. have we seen, seen that face? Slumdog, Lagan. Okay. So uh, Lagan. 
That's for sure where I remember him yeah. from. Uh, and I think a few other things as well. Um, and he at times, I don't know if it was the writing, he sometimes seemed a little weird to me in his acting a little bit. A little bit. Um, yeah. I don't know if it was because he was trying to be this kind of almost British-y priest. Yeah. And the dialogue was just kind of weird and clunky. Yeah. I felt like a lot of dialogues in a lot of different places was I, the best word I can think of is clunky because it just didn't feel like it flowed correctly and coming out. Um, yeah, he'd be someone that'd be an interesting conversation about where he was in his uh, evolution as an actor, yeah. what he did in his preparation, what direction he was given because there were times... Even moments where he just said something to her like, my child. It didn't yeah. sound like it was coming out of the mouth of a priest. Yeah. Um, but there wasn't anything glaringly awful no. where I was like, oh, take him off the screen. I never felt I thought that the, way. I thought the guy that was actually the bad guy and it did well as well. I thought he, he was kind of creepy looking. It almost looked like um, Vikram in that. Uh, yeah, I did and, a little uh, bit. The split personality theme. Yeah, yeah. I guess that's kind of like having hair in front of your face is very it, menacing. It and, does help, yeah. Uh, and all that kind of stuff. But yeah, overall, I thought everybody... In the cast was was fine. Uh, she was the best. Uh, she Agreed. was the, the standout of the film. Um, even though I think like there wasn't like a standout like a Rekka or or or, or Mila or sorry. No, yeah or, or Mila or Mila. Yeah. Um, those like in that film, I thought that like it was, it was like oh they did so so well. I yeah. thought she did well, just not as well as probably. Or, or I, I agree, and yeah. I think that's probably due to being a, a rookie, just, right? Yeah, yeah, new time. What a that's a hard thing to. Do. It's not an easy role for your first. Uh, no, not <laughs> at all. I don't know how much acting she did before. If she's, uh, yeah, if she comes from a fan. I have no clue. Not of, at all of her past. So I thought she did a, an admirable job uh, at it. Um, the end I thought was really interesting. The end, it, yeah. When they, because like the entire time it's this Catholic thing, right? Right. It's overall and oh yeah, the way they the, flipped the, 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 the kind switch. Of, and my wife came up with she's like, oh, it's kind of like almost this, like the how the they everybody's accumulating these british customs catholicism and then it's like you've abandoned your 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 tradition of like hinduism in the, in this point and yeah. kind of went back and i was like oh that's an interesting twist and i thought it fits for obviously an indian film it does and it's it it was they tried all this catholicism Right, exorcism the stuff, stuff. The stuff that had been brought on, brought to them through the West. Yeah, through the, through the West and through the British and that yeah. kind of stuff. And then he went back, and I've, he kept saying he, um, something God or diso. He was oh, that mad he had, at God or well, something. Well, he was like mad that, at right? God because of the encounter he had with his dad. Yeah, that's right. In the car and saying, if that's the God you expect me to be serving, that's going to make me not be in love with this girl, then I'm turning my back on this yeah. God that I served. Yeah, so they. That, that, I thought that was an interesting turn. I didn't hate it at all. I was like, okay, that's that. I think that it's a nice turn from the original, like being too exorcism y. And, mm -hmm. and, and, you know, just it's all being the. It really, it, yeah, it really is the only time I've ever seen that. I mean, they're straight up, and I understand. So much of the exorcist is rooted in truth and real experiential things that have happened within the Catholic Church and within exorcisms, and who I had mentioned with Roland Doe. That um, people copy the. I mean, he straight up says it's the power of Christ that compels you, and mm -hmm. this is one of his lines. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, that will forever be tied to the exorcist. Always yeah. be tied to 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 the exorcist. Um, but again, I didn't feel like they were stealing anything. No, I felt like they were taking something that's in, just like book. They did it in book. Too. Exactly. It's kind of an. It's kind of inescapable. Yeah. At this point in the genre, there's there's other takes that people have done. It doesn't always have to be done that way, but there are so many attributes, and there really was. I'm trying to think if there's been a film prior to The Exorcist. Obviously, nothing did it like The Exorcist. I know there's you know there's been scary things. There's been stuff about evil. There's been stuff about the devil, but actual demonic possession. I there's nothing off the top of my head that I can think of prior to The Exorcist. Yeah, uh, I, you guys can let us know if 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 that is the actual case. Um, overall, like I think the film probably also could have done obviously the songs, but I think it probably could have done with cutting down just a tad, to yeah, make it a little more snappy. Mm -hmm. um, but I didn't think it was. It, I didn't think it felt overly long either. No, it uh, didn't. And so that's good um, for a film that's what two hours twenty almost. Yeah. Um, 
No, and, it kept me engaged. I was wanting to. I like the I, overall ambiance too that the cinematographer and the uh, uh, color corrections made. There, there was a moment. It's a musical montage, which those didn't bother me. There were some musical montage moments, yep. and it it showed the priest twice doing a turn with a candle, and you saw the light do this in the camera, and it wasn't jaw droppingly beautiful, no. but what was beautiful was the intentionality yeah. behind it with the director and the cinematographer. I love the location was gorgeous. They kept everything period. Yeah. It's I cool. thought the score was really nice. Mm -hmm. I felt they did. It it very much felt like it was celebrating the old school horror films of Universal's heyday. Yeah. Like Frankenstein and, and it was Dracula also and very interesting how they did cuz it almost felt like almost a kind of like sensibility or pride and prejudice yeah like, it was almost like a book very like much a, a book retelling yes I mean, he, he had narration a lot over over him yeah uh and all that kind of stuff. so i thought that was interesting i love the period piece because we haven't gotten that a lot in indian cinema yeah even though because obviously I th my bet is they were filming in scotland or ireland yeah i remember it, seeing locations and it was one I, of those because the castles they were in were i think it may have actually been in germany at germany one point. really Okay, but yeah, clearly, yeah, Europe, something like so. I was yeah, like, oh, this European kind of period e feel is cool. Yeah, because we don't get it a lot in Indian cinema, and so that that was nice. Um, and, Lovely lighting. Yeah, uh, all that was great. The oh, that was period piece. We don't no, get no, a lot no, of no, no. It was, just, it was a different point. Cinematography. Gonna, no, it was a different point. Oh, um, ah, I forgot my thought. Acting, story, no. set Maybe design. Uh, talk, and I'll, I'll try to remember. Okay. Talk about something. Um, well, I was talking about how I liked the score, mm -hmm. and I really appreciated the uh, period piece and set design and the way they used that place, the way they lit that place. The One of the things, right, at the, right out the gate when the movie starts, there's exposition in the writing, which is, <laughs> you immediately go, don't do that. <laughs> but thankfully... It then stopped. It just yeah. did it, which is sort of forgivable at the outset. <laughs> yeah. It shouldn't be done, but the the I, I felt story wise, um, I think I would have preferred. I think the biggest convolution for me was just simply I would have I liked the idea that the house didn't want to be demolished. Yeah, and then you stick with that and and try to figure out. What is it? Is it the house? Is it just the house? Does a house have a spirit? Mm. And then you could go into, because they clearly wanted to go into, you go into the pure evil of demonic possession. Mm. And then I wonder how much, if any, because I can't imagine he he didn't come up against some things with the sensor board yeah, and what probably. could be done. And if things maybe had to be changed and you weren't allowed to do something that was just pure demonic possession. Yeah, it'd be cool if it could go even farther. That's just obviously my, like... Yeah, I would have liked just that the... straight, is it the house? Oh, not the house. It's the devil. <laughs> and just straight up go where Exorcist goes in yeah. that regard. Um I I didn't like. I'm so glad she stopped bleeding after uh, he cut her the ten thousand times. <laughs> it now, happened in The Exorcist too, though. I know because he. I don't know what he did it with when she stood up on the bed and she. I, I don't know what she had, but she was saying "fuck me" and she like it in was, her vagina. It was a it was a crucifix. Okay. Yeah. She stabbed herself <laughs> and she stopped bleeding. So clearly there's something with the demonic that stops it, people from bleeding. That was my permission for that. When she yeah. slit the arm several times and the bleeding <laughs> stopped, I went, okay, we're dealing with the supernatural. <laughs> so the natural is secondary to the supernatural. The same with, there were a couple of stomach stabs. Yes. Yeah, but then that was a continuity flaw. There were stomach stabs and then there was no bleeding or scrapes in he the was fine. nightgown. He was fine too because it yes. looked like he was dying for a while. Yeah, there were several several moments like that where I'm like, okay, it's all right. We missed that. I understand. But yeah, that moment in The Exorcist. Oh, that was creepy as hell. It's, it's worse in the book. Is it? Yeah. Oh, man. It's worse in the book. If, if you're interested, you really should, especially if you've seen The Exorcist, there is a whole lot of information about what led up to, happened during, and happened after the writing of the book and the making of the film. And they could make a... Maybe they ha has anyone made a film about the making? Because somebody could do that. Probably, I'd imagine someone could make a film about the making of The Exorcist from book to the end of the I'd film. I imagine somebody has, yeah. Because 
it's a story in and of itself. Yeah. Anyways, but yeah, I, overall, I enjoyed the film. I think it's a good film, and I would actually recommend it if people were looking. Since obviously the the genre is so limited in India. Yeah. Right. But the past two, the the but and and this one. I have already gone into I think my top five recommendations of of stuff I would recommend just because of they're actually creepy. Yeah, like the other ones that we had seen, uh, there were some creepy ones, right? But these are just two of the more creepy ones. Maybe it's just because they're doing with possession. Yeah, if you and, love and this, pos- possession is a is a creepy genre, man. If you love this genre, if you like this kind of horror film, if you like horror, I think in the same way to keep using the baseball analogy, if you're a baseball lover. Okay, it's not the World Series, and it's not the best teams in baseball, but if you're at Wrigley Field and you see them playing their best baseball, you're going to leave the games really happy you saw that game. I feel like anybody who likes horror yeah. would watch this and walk away feeling really good about the the attempts they made at this to be a good horror film. And I think there was a, a sequel, and I don't know if it was any good, but 1921 is actually there's a, a sequel to oh. it. I don't know if the same people are in it or anything like that. I just know there's a film called 1921. Um, you guys can let us know if it's trash or yeah. good or anything like that. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, but anyways, let us know what other creepy, spooky, horror-ish style of films we can watch. Yeah. And what you think about this film. And um, if you are the devil, uh, yeah, just go stay away. away. Stay away. Go to another channel. Subscribe elsewhere. <laughs>